What's going on everyone? We are continuing with Spooktober. I think that's the best, right? Spooktober. At this point, I just, I don't know. What do you guys want? Anyway, we're playing scary games this month uh, here on Let's Play with Brigands. And this game is, um, it's not scary in the uh, zombies gonna jump out and murder you and that kind of thing kind of way. Like we've been uh, the first couple, actually, what, we did Castlevania and then we did Doom. So not really zombies in either of those games um but anyway it's it's a different kind of scary this gone home a little creepier maybe is a better word for it uh if you're not familiar with this game well let's just get into it i think the the backstory and i just yeah i had a game going just to make sure everything was going working and going well uh, i don't think we want any commentary on that's kind of interesting i think you can play the game with director commentary on ruining everything, so I don't rec not, uh, recommend that for the first time you're doing this, but anyway, this game takes place in 1995 or 6, I want to say, hence the cassette tape, so it's a little throwbacky. I feel right at home being a child of the 90s, so uh, we're going to learn more as the game progresses, but here's the limited backstory that we have so far, any second now. me look like an ass on my channel. Alright, just had to get that cassette finished off there. Make sure it was all rolled up and ready to, uh, the Fulbright Company. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. That's the backstory. And remember those uh, those um, answering machines back in the day, like the tape-powered answering machine. Well, not tape-powered. I guess they they used made use of tapes. 1995, June 7th, Oasis was massive. Um, yeah, Nirvana was dying off. I mean, Kurt Cobain had just died the year before. I don't think that's really the point, uh, the, the focus of this game. But anyway, all right. So, who are we? We are. Caitlin Greenbrier just got back. We're getting into Portland. Flight 270. That's not really relevant to the rest of this game. It's June 6, 1995. Where were you that year? Were you born yet? <laughs> Better question. All right. Katie, that's me. I'm sorry. I can't be there to see you, but it's impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want Mom, Dad, anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. And why the hell is that light flickering? Not a fan of that already. All right, already some something, something's off. All right, that's so that's Sam leaving me a note. A uh, little freaked out. Not sure what that's meant to mean, but all right, let's go inside. I'm sure, my folks will be happy to see me now. Bitch, should I have like a key to my house? And of course, it's raining. Fan friggin' tastic. I don't like the dark. I do like ducks. I like Christmas ducks. Oh. Can I toss this? I don't like Christmas ducks. <laughs> the good old Christmas duck. Alright, here's my house key. Stealthily hidden underneath the Christmas duck. L2. Oh, L1. Did that just change? Alright. Oh, that is such a 90s picture. Oh my gosh. I think we all knew a Caitlin Greenbrier. In our, uh, our high schools, but yeah, look at her. There's my... So I got in from Amsterdam, transferred in Cincinnati to Portland, 16F. Again, not really relevant to the game. The spare key that was hidden under old Christmas duck. All right. I don't mean to draw this out. Soda can? What is that doing out there? Unused soda can! That's a little suspicious. Alright, so I got the key now. Let's get in, go inside. Whoa, sensor lights? Pretty advanced for 1995. How about that? All right, how do you run? Is that a thing? I'm trying to learn the controls here. There might be a button for controls or a way to bring up the controls. Nope, I'll figure it out. Oh, did it say right there? Check map, check items, crouch. Right, so maybe there is no run. All right, so what do we got here? Got an invoice for... okay. 
I guess, movers. All right, so we just moved in. Dear Katie, yeah. so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. All right, that would be me. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. See, I'm guilty. I used to tell you everything, leaving. and if I can't do it in person because you're off gallivanting around, who knows where? Answer Tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Okay, so Sam's gonna be leaving us clues via journal about our whereabouts. Apparently, yeah, I had to, I had to get my uh, my smoke on in Amsterdam. <laughs> oh, that's an awful commute. Hour ten minutes, not great. Empty tissue box. What is the point of that? Oh, I can examine the empty tissue box. How about that? Oh, it's not empty. Never mind. Screw me. All right, let's keep searching. A little creeped out. Wondering where Sam is. There's Mom. Mom's a forestry service employee. She's a senior cons uh, conservationist. That's nice. Good for Mom. Good fella, high school. All right. What do we got here? Over the Alps, a novel traveling game for two to six players. Who cares? Never liked that game growing up. All right, so I'm not sure if my character's ever been there. In this house, rather. I say there. One of my trophies. Ah, oh, already hating this girl. Already hating ourselves. First place. She's one of those overachievers. Here's my my skull that I I won when I killed that other child, and then I decorated it as was custom in Portland growing up in the 90s. All right, more trophies, more lights. How about that? Not a, not a fan of the dark. Dear Jan, that's my mom. Um. Yep. Alright, so Carol, old friend of my mom, jealous of my European vacation. Okay. Not a fan of the thunder. Just adding to the creepiness. Phone directory for Boone County. We are in the boonies out here. Alright, I have to check everything. No! Turn the lights on. Back on. Alright, so Carol is jealous of my European vacation. That is very important to the plot, I can only assume. Alright, why is this cracked? We need to find, like, a body of Sam. Or the body of Sam, not a body that Sam has killed and hidden somewhere in the house. But I'm waiting for something to pop out. This massive house. Where are my parents, by the way? Vax. Powder cleanser. I would have to go after such a long flight, but author magazine. Ah, Stephen King, a very popular novelist in the 90s, and today I suppose as well. That said, I don't really. Ooh, running water. Fancy. The 90s, man. Not a bad time to grow up, if I do say so myself. All right, let's keep exploring. Another Boone County directory. Not sure why we have two. All right, so what is this? Okay, so I left nearly a year ago, about t 11 months ago, and I went all over, all over, uh, look at that, yeah, flight to Amsterdam, maybe I just, I don't know, I was, I was hopping all over Europe, what can I say, I had a good time. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called, he wants to come see the new house, call him back. <laughs> Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I hung out with him in the first place. He had a Nintendo when you were little. I hear that. Except I think I was the kid with the Nintendo that people hung out with. Unfortunately. I thought they wouldn't have hung out with me otherwise, but... They wouldn't have hung out with, the other, with me otherwise. Alright. Let's hear the messages. Sam. Sam. Hello. Is that my voice? Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. I spoke 
way too much weed that night. No, that's not my voice. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. That's me. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. Okay. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport. So my parents aren't home. even here to have heard like, that really message. Seriously, you don't what have the to. fudge? Okay, so. There's love the family. You. See you soon. Bye. It's mom and dad. Oh, look at him. It's so 90s. That mustache. Ugh. Jan and Terry. So that must be Sam. There's me. Perfect. Perfect overachiever. Look at that. Just the perfect length of necklace right there. Perfect chain length. Man, Jan could take some lessons from me, actually, in that department. All right. Am I wasting too much time? So that's Sam. That's my sister. She's the one I'm worried about. All right. Uh, let's keep exploring. Down this really way too dark hallway. Thank you. Why is that light flickering? Come on. Okay. That's better. Alright, this house is already too big. I've been in like three rooms so far. There's four of us. We don't need a house this big. Why the hell are we living here? Welcome, new student. This sounds like a form letter. She had everything except a positive attitude. Why do I feel oh like Sam's not the overachiever? You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Psycho what? Great. I'm sorry, why is this the Psycho House? That's not great. I just got here. Alright, so this is one of my postcards. So it's weird addressing it to the psycho house, apparently. I'm in Paris! I'm still perfect. What else should I say? Pack of cards. Obituary from Oscar Mason. Uh, why do we have this? Oh, this might have been his house. Uh. That would be the home for the rest of his life. Wow, he lived here his whole life and then. Wow. Interesting. Waiting for his ghost to pop out and attack me. At least he wasn't murdered, though. Why is this house so creepy? Who is this? What's that? DeSoto. Interesting. Yeah, let's hold up to the light. There we go. I like that. The light actually matters. That's kind of nice. Alright, interesting. That's not my sister. She's not a green briar. Alright. Let's keep exploring. Slash not getting murdered. In the psycho house, apparently. Why is this light on if no one's home? That's just like, oh, that's freaking eerie. Alright, this light needs to be on. Why isn't this light turning on? Bitch. Turn the fan on. Ugh. So creepy. Oh, this house is so creepy. It's the perfect house for this game. I've already decided. here. Looks like a review of some crappy, uh, crappy 90s technology. Laser disc, man, remember that stuff? Man, I actually, I remember I took a film class in college and we had to watch it on laser disc because we couldn't find the DVD or something like that, my film teacher, who later got, uh, fired for, I think, sexual assault. Good times. Anyway, um, yeah, let's keep going, right? don't know the company. But, okay. Let's go into more creepy rooms, huh? Did I miss something here? Yeah, here. Terrence. That would be dad. Okay. There are no current safety concerns. Alright. Fair enough. Okay. Why do I feel like I have safety concerns right now? What? Who needs a room this big? Is this a study? Who has a study anymore? This is creepers. Who reads Fresh Magazine anymore? Oh, Sarah Holst. 
she was something else in the 90s. I feel like that's supposed to be Jewel or something. 90210, does anybody still care? I never read that. Uh, watched 90210. Definitely didn't read it. Tried. Alright. Interesting. Way too dark over here. Does this light come on? Turn on? How does that light not turn on? What do we got here? <laughs> okay. So, so Dad's writing these technical reviews, <laughs> and he's getting off topic a little bit. Fair enough. A stranger under my roof. <laughs> Parenting teens. Look at that kid. He just doesn't care. Got his hand down his pants. The parents just don't understand him. Shoelaces untied. Why won't he tie his shoelaces? Why does he pick a shirt with so many triangles? What's wrong with circles? Dr. Alyssa Medina will explain all these things and more. I'm just riffing. That's what I do during these Let's Plays, if this is your first one. How you doing? What do we got here? Dad's second book, The Accident of Brian. Oh, look. Dad fancies himself something of a novelist. Ah. Look at that. Who can... Wow, what a sparkling review from Amok Now and Vaster. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. So, alright. This is what I should have turned on when I first came in here. I would have made this room a lot less creepy. Alright, well, I got my fill of the study. Wish I, there was a run button in this game, but I just have to awkwardly kind of Roomba everywhere in the sounds. Whoa! Anybody home? High winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties: Austin County, Boone County, uh, Dawn County, and Poltergeist. Are you serious? Why is this book out? I'm on edge enough as it is. I'm wondering. Is it just me or is it? Dude, Doctor Jitters. That's my choice. The, only the best for your table. Look at that. Hmm. It's got all. Wait, where's the sugar content? Why aren't you telling us, Dr. Jitters? <laughs> Dr. Jitters. <laughs> oh, those off-brand sodas just have the best names. This is a severe weather warning. Uh, the Northwest Weather Service a great reports high paper from Why the hell was this out? The following county. Austin County. Mm. Booth County. I don't have time to read Sam's old crap. The Kelma County. And She's not the, uh... Are sparkling sample. Ooh, wow! Remember these tapes where you just like made your own? The Dark Crystal. My buddy would appreciate that. Tapes. X Files. Yep. I can see the same person enjoying those two things. Making friends. Sam thought this might help. Alright, so Sam, bit of a. You know that feeling? Yeah. Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook. That's a girl from that so picture. so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every nice. day after school. Street Fighter? Hell yeah. At the end of that? Okay. Time Machine. Oh, the Time Machine. That was a good movie. Oh, that used to scare me too with Labyrinth Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah, the Time Machine with the, uh, those, oh, those creatures in the end. And they, uh, anyway. Clearly don't remember that much about the film except that one part. And it's his dad's first book. Not just another James Bond. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Terry, how you been? Mm. So I guess things weren't going well for Dad with the novel writing, so he had to take a job he presumably hates writing uh, reviews for a crappy electronics. Is there the code to that? No. This is a severe and weather locker. warning. The Northwest filing cabinet. All right. All right, we good? We find everything? Austin County. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna leave that TV on now. The Kelma County. 
and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly uh, urged to stay <laughs> indoors and secure all windows and Enjoy the unit. All right. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Get a free, uh... Okay. Whatever. I got gotcha. you. Did I miss anything in here? No. I saw that. Okay. Let's continue our journey. That was that room. That was that room. So that just connected there. All right. So moving on. Oh, you, you did see a tape back there. I, I'm not putting it in because that's copyrighted music, and I don't want them to flag this video or have them take it down or anything like that. So we're not going to play the cassette tapes. If you want to hear mid '90s uh, girl punk rock bands, then uh, go online and don't get sued or don't get me sued at least. All right, what do we got in here? More books. This there's so many books. That's way too many books for one house. It's like the third library I've seen in this house. Study library. Uh, again, don't want to get sued, but there's a record there. Old school record, which is now like coming back in uh, back in style. I need a drink, man. I can't be. Uh... My whole family just left me. They just don't even care. I should at least pound the Dr. Jitters, who are, again, suspiciously reticent about their, uh, the sugar content of their friggin' soda. Visa, Vixka, Vixa, Vodka, a product of Russia. It's my Russian accent. What is this? Orange soda. Nondescript orange soda. Again, why isn't anyone telling me about the sugar? Alright, no fat. Anyway. I think I'm focusing on the wrong parts of this game. I always miss those lights, too. Alright. Waiting for that first body. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Okay. It's Nintendo Street Fighting Tape. <laughs> Parents are so square. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. Default. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. Aw, poor... But he did guy. always have the good Nintendo games. Right? Maybe I'll give him a call. You're an awful person. Slash, that's what kids do, so it's fine. Coupons! So many coupons. About the stuff that's missing? What is... What's missing? I wouldn't know what's missing. I've been in Europe getting my high off my ass for the last nine, eleven months, whatever it is. Alright, enough with the frickin' thunder. Locked. Shit. Why do I feel like there's a body back in there? Alright. Please, whatever you found, don't come up the attic. Oh, shit. The hell is in the attic? Do I want to know? All right, I'm starting to I'm starting to feel the hair on the back of my neck. I should be checking these crumpled up papers, shouldn't I? <laughs> and yes, I'm new. What's up? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Not cool. What the hell happened in this house? I'm starting to get a little. All right, so. I've adequately, adequately explored the east wing, or the, I guess the west wing if I'm facing this way. So what else have we got? Was this door locked? It's like the garage. Of course! Alright, let's go toward the attic. I'm getting chills now just saying that. Right. Seems like an unnecessary everything right here. Control Burns, got for Boone County. Oh, there's my mom. My mom's name has been highlighted. That was nice of the paper to do that. Anyway, all right. Whoa, I can't just like run into a room, especially a big open hallway like this. What we got here? Bruce Pendleton. Ranger with expertise. Okay. Sure. Personnel transfer. It's important. Cooking class, cooking class, cooking class. Cook for the big meal for Terry and Sam. Okay. Go 
Apple's bowling. Hmm. It seems like things maybe aren't... Maybe I'm reading too much into that personal calendar, but things maybe aren't... No, that's... I guess that's sweet. Why do we have so many... Oh, it's a cassette tape. Again, can't play it. Don't want to get to see it. Oh, it's just a case. I can play that. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? <laughs> I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like... Instantly just right. Board I gave game. her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. <laughs> and it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. Nice. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Alright, this is Sam's room. Oh shit. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Hmm. Just left all the lights on. Why do I feel like she's just hanging in the attic? She hung herself or something, but I don't know. We got Bratmobile. Cool schmool. Can't play it, you'll have to imagine what that sounds like. <laughs> That's my interpretation. You can do your own. Alright. Damn it, Sam. Ooh, nice cup. Damn it, Sam, leaving the TV on. All the, uh, ooh, 3D eye puzzles. These are fun. I'm gonna actually do this. I invite you to do the same. Remember these in the 90s? Let's see what we can find. Just gotta. On focus your eyes. And oh, it's a snake. Oh, it's a bunny. I'm really good at those. Um, anyway. Is this another tape? Oh, cartridge. Adventurous the Cat Returns. <laughs> Who could forget that SNES classic? Not licensed by Nintendo, suspiciously enough. And oh, is, there, is that a note that I need to check out? Chun Li moves. Who would play with Chun Li? She's the worst. At least as the computer, she's pretty bad. Are there more games in here? Man, all the classics. Who could forget Super Spitfire? Or Journey of Crystal? That <laughs> looks awful. Uh, it's meta. A game within a game. I don't see the SNES though. Uh, I don't know the combination. What do we got here? KSNC presents Social Distortion. Oh, Money Buddy Boston's. Yes, please. I was a huge Boston's fan. That was like 94, too. That was like. When would that have been? That would have been like Question the Answers era. That's one of my favorite albums from them. Good stuff, Sam. I like you again. Even if you've killed yourself and you're hanging from a noose in the attic. Alright, got your number. Remember these games? Secret boyfriend or telephone bullshit or whatever it was called. Still couldn't believe they called. They uh, got away with calling the game then. All right, Captain Allegra. Man, so she like she was developing this character since second grade. Why do I feel like my sister is a better author than our dad? Poor guy. Trapper keeper. Holy Bible! What? That's out of character. <laughs> S is for okay. I was gonna say L is for lame, but she doesn't have an L in her name. Mitten. Oh god, why do I feel like Mitten's dead? I leave for one year and Mitten dies and or runs away. Not cool, Sam. Not cool. What else she got? Pop down here. What we got here? Metalworking. C minus. Enough of the thunder, I get it. Super scary. Christmas duck. Oh, I remember this thing. Adorable. Looking for a key or something. There's a lot of locked doors in this house. Kurt Cobain, Groove Magazine. Groove Magazine, Weezer. Good stuff. Back in the golden age of Weezer, 95. That was like Pinkerton, Blue Album. Or Dr. Jitter. A lot of unopened sodas just everywhere around this house. 
haven't seen a single empty one. Wait, wait for it. That looks as full as anything else I've seen. But yeah, that's... She's just thrown away. She's... Bah! I can't even find words. I'm so angry about her treat treatment of Dr. Jitters. Alright, what's going on? Okay. We got here more tissues. Let's speed this up. Another game? No, it's not a game. Fizz right, ginger ale. <laughs> she just might, maybe she just finds comfort in full cans of soda, of off-brand soda. I think creative writing could be good for you. Yeah, see, she does show promise. I wasn't reading too much into everything so far. Good fellow. Okay. Um, where is this leading? Back to the back to the hall. All right. Let's go back this way so I don't get ahead of myself. We good, we good. Wow, I turned so slow. Must be coming down from that Amsterdam high. Which I've referenced many, many times. Uh, this is the parents' bedroom. Where the hell are they? Whoa! Presumably parents, because I mean, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, did you just hear the footsteps or... Doors moving and stuff. Hello? There's no like peek out. Look, there's that, which is just kind of awkward. I try. How does she do that with her eyes? <laughs> just, ugh, just squint really hard. Just detach her retinas. Is that a condom? Ah! Oh, at least they're being safe. I don't want a little brother or sister. much of an age difference that would be at this point. Wow, three TVs. We're living large in this house, man. What's with all the off-brand soda, then? I guess that's how we afford it. The Fugitive, all the presents, man. These are like the exact same bootlegged videos that my family had growing up. I love it. Thankfully, the Psycho House was not... Looks like the parents left in quite a hurry. Did someone kidnapped my entire family. Mitten. Caitlin, age five. Aw. Now Mitten's dead, presumably. Awful. Is that just nondescript clothes? So we can. I don't have to take offense and issue with everything in this game. Nice walk in closet. Again, don't need this much room. There's so many books in this set. It, I mean, it was the 90s. It was pre-internet. Because what else were you going to do? Wow, just a baby there, Sam was. Dad looks... Wow, kind of like a... I don't want to say it. I don't want to stereotype, but that mustache, man. Dear Jan. Oh, there's Carol. New Ranger. That's what I want to hear about? What? Ranger Rick? Send pictures? What? Uh... What's going on with, uh, Mom and Ranger Rick? Better said. Better asked. Interesting. Alright, what is this down here? Bookmark. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. Rick? Why is Rick giving my mom bookmarks? I mean, that's not like the <laughs> the most scandalous thing he could have given her, I guess. Okay, as publisher. So many Bibles in this house. Yeah, I'm making a statement here on Let's Play With Brains. It won't go in the trash. Okay. I'm actually not making a statement at all. I just, I just like to, to stir the pot. Oh, back when I was in... Uh, ooh, jolly old England. Did anyone ever say that? Jolly old England. What the hell is behind this door? Oh, it's a bathroom. That's fine. I just noticed there's no mirrors in this house. How convenient. Alright, my mind's playing tricks on me. I feel like I keep hearing stuff. Of course, Caitlin turns around so damn slow. I feel like someone could easily come in and kill me. That's a thing. After the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse. Yeah. I feel like 
you know, they're they're hitting that itch. Hitting the uh, more lights, always more lights. They're having some problems, which a lot of couples do when the kids get older and I don't know. What am I saying? I'm not married. I don't know anything. Don't listen to me. All right. Um. So the house keys seem to keep going that way. So let's check out this. Uh, Pulp Fiction, hell yeah. <laughs> Am I going to burp? I guess it's just stuff from outside. Just rain. And, uh... What the fuck? Holy shit, that's blood. That's blood. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Okay, it's hair dye. Oh. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. <laughs> she said, I need to fix these roots. They are Thank setting us up for... The worst. Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? Uh, it felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and what I mirror? expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. Yeah, but that's when she said, "You're so beautiful," and she was looking at me. <laughs> right in that moment, I wanted to say. Something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. I feel like this Lonnie is more than a friend. I feel like I figured that out a while ago. Tampon? A single tampon? That's the weirdest thing I've seen so far in this house. Lonnie rules! Alright. So. Alright, that's not blood. But still, do a better job at cleaning that up. How do you get it there? Okay. Alright, enough. Enough with the storm. It's been like an hour. I should own a hell it's been. Why is there a note under this door? Whoa. Is this the attic? Am I getting ahead of myself? Alright, hope one one door at a time. What is this? Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. I'm such short notice they weren't around to do it. Where are they? Alright. Alright, so the parents are fine, presumably. I won't be need anymore? Holy shit! That sounds like a... Not quite a full-on suicide note, but... That didn't sound good. What the hell is going on? Hey, Sam. ROTC ribbons. Lonnie. <laughs> if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Why is that in here? What were they doing in the guest room? Here, here in the guest room. As I quote the National. Wow. Uncle Oscar? Oh. <laughs> Almost. Also ghost milk. Ooh. Moo. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A presence in the TV room? Oh, man. Come on. Right. So is this house haunted or not? Uh, okay. Here's all my shit. Cool. All my, all my stuff. We'll never know. It's not part of the game. Art, which hasn't been hung yet. Here, here in the guest room. All right. Here's that attic. But all right. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Old timey light switches. I mean, this is a house from the early. Early 20th century. Again, don't want to get sued. Just <laughs> happen to conveniently have tape players in every room where there's tapes. Not bad, whoever was doing that. Not bad. But not good enough. Not good enough for my studio. What do we got here? Richard. Uh, my mom is reviewing R Ranger Rick. Gave him all fives. I am not feeling good about this. He's giving her bookmarks. Carol's asking about her in notes. What the hell is going on? Dad's gonna lose her if he's not careful. I'm sure he's not wooing her with those that review job he's got going on right now. Don't forget your costume. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. 
Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. Oh. The girls on stage were just so loud and Your real characters. and awesome. That's fine. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. Secret passage. And then she up and hugged me. Oscars. I think she could oh, tell. This guy. Oh, yeah. What? I keep feeling like I hear someone running around. Like, just gonna run in and. Oh, God. Alright. So the closet in Mom and Dad's room leads to somewhere. Alright, we'll check it out. As soon as I check out the, the murder, uh. Ooh, that's unnecessary. <laughs> as soon as I check out the murder attic. Or the suicide attic. Alright. Here we go. Be strong, everybody. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Do not enter if red lights are on. Oh man, she's so dead up there. Uh, did I say this is creepy or what? Yes. Very much so. Alright. Let's go back downstairs. Wait, I mean, no, let's go in Mom and Dad's room and go in that secret passage. That's what we were doing. I don't think I like have any extra keys or anything now. Yet. Alright, I like this house a lot more with all the lights on. It's a massive, massive, way too big of a house house. What? That's kind of unnecessary in bananas. What is the point of this? What? What is this? Ghost Hunters. Sam and Lonnie. Secret House Investigation Log. There's three more hidden passages. Wow. They didn't even count this one. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, no evidence of supernaturals. I like that. That puts me at ease a little bit more. Alright. Crucifix. What the fuck? What the fuck? Not cool. For God's sake. Okay. Don't like that that went out. Not a huge fan of that. Oh, look at that. Look where I am. Interesting. Fun times. Alright, so let's find the rest of these secret passages. We're in Dad's office. Alright, which means there should be another one, so I'm in this... There should be one right here at the end of the hall here. Oh, look, it does look a little loose. That's fun. Get out of here, loose panel. You've served your purpose. <sighs> 501. Oh, that's Sam's locker combination. So weren't there just five, uh, four numbers? So I could easily probably just figure this out by process of elimination. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, Samantha, ninth grade. More of Captain Allegra. There's two pages of it. Interesting. <laughs> like she hit it there. Because everyone's looking for that. Alright, um... There's another X back there, so I guess I should investigate that. That was bad timing, though, when that light went out. That was that was pretty fantastic. Another Boone County telephone directory. <laughs> There's about as many of those in this house as there are cassette players. Which doesn't really make any sense. Alright, so th there should be something. There we go fun. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Ooh. Lonnie and I shared it. Details. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, Nervous? Yeah. After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, 
I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. Like dark, I hope darker. I have a chance to talk before I explode. Dr. Jacked Up, what was it called? How could I forget? I didn't ever forget. Oh, can I like sort of see through there? That's kind of weird. Like Dr. Fizz. Shook up can of Dr. Fizz. Alright, so there's one more hidden passage. And it would be there. Okay. Oh, let's do the combo, right? What was it? Oh, 5 0. Well, let me check. It's the last hidden passage, which should be right here. Yeah. Ouija board! Creepy. Get out of here. Hello, Oscar. What do you want to come? Not cool! Don't mess with me, sis. Oh, zero. Again, I could have figured that out by process elimination. Alright. Let's go in here. I want to believe. I think we know who's taping the X-Files. Alright. Alright, so what was the... What do we have for the combination now? Zero, five, oh, one. Zero... 501. Simple. Easy. There's Lonnie. Looking all awkward. <laughs> Lonnie came over today. Basement key. Uh, everything was... Cigarettes, come on. Same. Different. Ooh. She was sitting at my desk chair. Just she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. Like stealing clothes? She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just I'm wanted to say, too. but I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. Oh. I looked at her. Lonnie, Sweet. do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn, it's getting heavy, man. It's a lot at stake. Mom's maybe having an affair with Ranger Rick. Dad's a failed novelist. And Sam's a lesbian. <laughs> and Sam's a lesbian. Not really sure what that has to do with anything, but... Good for her. So, oh god, did they like... It's like a murder-suicide or something. What the hell is going on in that attic? Oh, I'm in a basement now. It's creepy. Fizz right. <laughs> hey, if it fizz right, go with it. <laughs> Quite. A fancy man. Quite. Yeah. Nice. Bag of chips. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten this whole game. I want to open at least one of these damn sodas. Drawing. Oh, now. Sam and Lonnie. <laughs> there's, there's the thunder. Boom. They're into it's it. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Now we're, you know... Well, you know... Making out and... So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. Secret scissoring. It's I mean, the I best guess kind that's of scissoring. Difference. Ooh, first place. Now when Let we get off the that phone to. or go Kaylin. home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Look at that. Look at me nailing the reproductive system. Destroyed it. Kaylin, kind, amazing, intelligent. <laughs> Those things are lame. I just say that because I'm jealous because I didn't have one growing up. T is for terrified of the dark. <laughs> o is for, oh shit, it's dark. And it's for, no, it's dark. And Y is for, why does it have to be so dark? Did I beat that into the ground a little too much? Man. Good job, Samantha. She's a... I'm so stupid sometimes. What? I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. That's awesome. And I was all making plans, like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. Hell yeah. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. 
I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. Buy that necklace. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? Oh, shit. She said, let's just have fun while we can. Oh, no. Oh, God, Sam's not going to be able to take it. And she killed herself. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, Grandpa wrote a note to Dad about his book. So I think Grandpa was a big author too. Probably more successful, and Dad couldn't live up to it. You can do better. Oh, love and encouragement, my ass. Come on, Rick. Not to be confused with Ranger Rick, who is probably boning Mom right now. But damn, just like everything is falling into place now. Like Dad could never live up to his own father's expectations of him, and there's Mom when she was. Oh, she's Canadian. That's fun. Why is that just lying around? Alright. So I'm feeling good about this basement. I don't think anything's going to happen down here. Uh, interesting. Postcard. Where was I this time? Multnama Falls. Yeah. Good stuff. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Yeah. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. <laughs> like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found That's a trail okay. and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. Aww. But I don't think they know, no about us. How could they? The kids at school, though... Parents don't pay attention. I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick don't with be the a group. lesbian. <laughs> am who I am, Sam, and so are you, it sounds like. And that's great. And I wish I could, you know, give you a supportive big sis it's okay that you're a lesbian with me hug. I mean, it was the 90s. It's not like it was all out there like it is today. Like, now it's encouraged, you know? Back in the 90s, it was just... It was a different time, and... Man, there's just so many freaking rooms here. I feel like I need to go back down and hit that one before I go up there. We're coming up on the end, I feel like. There's not that much more of this house to explore. But what the hell's going on? With, uh... Let's check out this room here. Set list. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. Uh -huh. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie Love was like, Lonnie. I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. Get no mirror. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. She's actually really amazing. Of course you'd say that. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm going to be at every single show. That's nice. That's sweet. Ugh, don't like that that doesn't turn on. Map of the house. Don't think I need it. I don't have that combination. Where did I miss that? This is Terry. Wait, like my dad Terry? What? Whoa. Okay, then. Okay, so that makes more sense now. Yeah. Crazy uncle and everything. It's all falling into place. Alright, let's go up here now. And, uh... Let's go up here. And survive. And hopefully Sam... You know, took the 
the same advice. Where the hell is this room? It's just crappy lyrics. It looked like crappy lyrics. Bratmobile. Women outlaws. Oh, keep that on. Wipers. Okay. <laughs> and there's her, uh, yep. Character there. Nice. Damn it! Why are there so many empty pizza boxes in this house? Lonnie sometimes. <laughs> like her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti authority. Yeah, fuck but the I police. watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Oh, like yeah. she's going to join the army and then have to lie That's true. about who she is. She said. They don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. Hmm. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. No. Have I been back here yet? Where am I right now? Kitchen area. Oh, oh, this is behind. The, oh, okay, that's how we get here. All right, enough of the thunder. All right, here I am. Now I know. More lights. No, no, no. More lights. Okay. We got down here. Earth, wind, and fire. All right. So mom and dad went to see Earth, wind, and fire. That's exciting. They're a fan of the band. Hopefully it brought them closer together. Kind of repaired the relationship a little bit. Since they're on thin ice right now, it seems like. Or I've just decided, at least. Just because Ranger Rick's in the picture doesn't mean that, you know. If you're still going to concerts together with your spouse, then I feel like you're doing all right. That's where I stand on that. Poor Sam. Such a mess up. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. You had the talk. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean... How do you know I'm straight? You've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. <laughs> mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? <laughs> and so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. You messed up. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. <laughs> Sign up for that team for life. Sam knows. Don't give up on this, honey. By Terrence. Alright. Did, uh... Did Mom write that to him? Alright, so apparently, I guess... What is that? Mom went out to the Earth, Wind & Fire concert with frickin' Rick? Is that what's going on? Which completely... This is the biggest house ever! It's ridiculous! There's four people in this house! I'm not even around! I'm in Europe most of the time! That's where I spend my summers. Well, not this summer. Back, and no one's here to take me in. Welcome me back, and... What the hell's going on here? What do I say? It feels like a goddamn miracle. 
how they wanna... Oh, look at that! Someone actually gives a shit about Dad's crappy books. Maybe he's not the complete fuck-up that I have painted him out to be. Painted him out to be. Listen to me with words. I'm no Terrence Greenbrier. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary. Okay. That would be right now. Okay. So I guess I'm coming home a little sooner than normal, than expected, and that's why they're going to be out of town. Hopefully they're repairing their relationship. They left money for Sam for the pizza, so they have no idea this would be the perfect time for her to do a murder-suicide. Sam quit her job at Crown Burger. Did I say Crown or Clown Burger? It's a picture of a clown, right? But it says Crown Burger. Fuck that. Clown combo. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so they'll run to the house till you leave. Wow. Wish to file your parents' bed while they're gone. Your gross never change. <laughs> Alright, so they're doing their they were doing their thing as recently as like a day ago, last night even. Where the hell are they then? There's one missing piece of this puzzle. I'm still in the dark. That crown burger, thank you. That's very specific. Alright, so they're at like a, a wedding or something. Richard. Mr. Richard Morris. Okay. Is that. Well, okay. Old school dishwasher. Flashing too, because the power went out. Alright, no food in the house. Except like some chips here and there. None of the phones work, that's eerie. Another friggin' telephone directory? Are you serious? How many do we need? We have one for like every wing of this house. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, good for mom. What's, what's on the calendar? Charity. Where was I? When was I supposed to get back? Does it say on here? Rick's wedding. Cancel. What the hell? Hmm. Be called off because of mom. What the hell's going on? Kitty comes home this month. Call with the exact date. Okay. Wow. Crazy. This is just. This is. It's a lot going on. We seem like the perfect family. Got our ketchup, our Russian dressing. That's not what Russian dressing looks like. Alright. Again, if I'm going to take issue with anything. Okay. Kitchen was a waste of time. Not going to play any music. Going down this dark asshole. Does this light work? There we go. Thank you. Much less creepy. Only a couple rooms left. Barcelona. Final destination of Amsterdam. Last show Mommy ever. Mommy had her going away show with her band tonight. Oh. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. Wow. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. Oh. That I can't live without her. Uh... Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. Huh. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Wow. That's rough. Of course there's a greenhouse as part of this house. There's another typewriter where Dad can churn out his crappy James Bond wannabe. Jazz! That's the worst mug I've ever seen in a video game. Alright, dear Kaz. <laughs> Alright. Well, good for Dad. 
things I like <laughs> things got okay, then worse and progressively worse, and then the little redemption there at the end, possibly. Yeah. That worked things out, but that left things open ended with Rick. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Rick called off the wedding. Oh, what is going on? Excellent old pariah. Look at that. Good stuff. Maybe. Alright. Interesting. That was just last night. Under stairs, secret door. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. Okay. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Uh. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. Aww. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. Aww. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. Whoa. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. Whoa. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. In her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Damn. Now what else do you say to that? Holy shit, alright, so... The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. <laughs> when I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. Huh. And wait. Sam! Oh god. Oh god, she's killed herself in the attic. Let's go. Why can't I run? <laughs> I'm so slow. The phones don't work. I can't call an ambulance. Alright, everybody. <sighs> Brace yourselves, we're about to see something that gets pretty disturbing. This is, this is fucking sad, man. It's not something scary, it's just... Hello? Sam? What the hell? Sam? Alright. Nobody here. Okay then. More lights. Is there a note? There is a note. Oh. That's heavy. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. Uh, that was Lonnie. It was Lonnie. Yeah. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me and us. Oh. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. That's... And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. Oh. And let's just drive until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. Okay. So she's not dead. <laughs> wow. And this is it. Do not read this if you're not Katie. Why'd you make Katie, me go on a freaking goose egg so hunt? Goose egg hunt. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. Okay. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. 
and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. Aww. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Wow. That has gone home. See? What did I say? It's a little bit different from the, uh... From the rest of the games that, uh, that I'm playing this month. But, uh, still very creepy in its own right. Until you find out what's going on there at the end. It's just... And everything's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. It is ultimately very anticlimactic, but they set it up in a very nice way. And, uh... And no... No, Sam's gone off with her love, and hopefully it works out. Probably not, because they're like 17 or 18 years old, but whatever. And, um, <laughs> you know? And that's great. Um, so that was Gone Home. And, uh... <laughs> actually, I, I read you can beat the game in, I think, a minute and a half or something like that. You can do just, like, a speed run if you just go straight for that panel next to the stairs, open it up. And I guess grab the key and then run up to the attic, and you could beat the game in like two seconds, which is kind of funny actually. But uh, but anyway, still a lot of questions unanswered. What's gonna happen with mom and dad's writing career and everything like that? But but there you go, a uh, little misdirection there ultimately in the end. But that is gone home. Uh, Couple, there's something else I want to say, but it's escaping me, so I'm just going to wrap this up. Um, thank you very much for watching this one, everyone, and uh, hopefully it was entertaining. And uh, again, we're doing the Let's Scream with Brigands all this month, every Friday at 10 o'clock at night. And uh, my solo record under my own name is out now, so you can check that out. I'm linking to it in the description, and I'm going to put up a clip at the end of this video, right at, uh, in a couple couple seconds after this so uh check that out if you like i appreciate the support as always and uh tune in next week for another hair raising time on boo tober or wait did i oh, it was spooktober wasn't it ah crap i already screwed it up all right well refer to the beginning of this video to uh for the correct title of what i'm calling this month but anyway yeah, hopefully see you guys next time for more fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Stop.